economic headlines. It's all about the money. I'd now like to welcome uh, Liana DeBio, who is uh, the Chief Operating Officer for Phoenix. And today we are going to be talking about online crowdfunding. Thank you very much for joining us, Liana. Thank you very much for joining us, Lena. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can, loud and clear. Um, I know you were at a meeting, so um, thank you for your time. Um, I'd like you to please talk to us about um, the online crowdfunding, especially for people who don't understand what crowdfunding is. Maybe let's uh, start off by just um, explaining what crowdfunding is before we even take it to the online platform. So crowdfunding is um, a concept that started in the 90s in America, and it's basically pooling money together. So um, if we think about a local context, if we think about something like a stock file, it's about saying, you know, by myself, I can't do a lot because I don't have a lot of money. But if a group of people come together and put um, the money they have together, that sum becomes quite um, a large thing. So crowdfunding takes that concept, puts it online, um, on the Internet, um, and it's about raising funding towards a specific project or towards a specific mission um, with a group of people doing it together. So it can be small amounts, but eventually the collective amount becomes quite a large sum of money. So that's, that's the concept of crowdfunding. So now let's bring it now to the online side of thing. How do we then merge crowdfunding with online and technology? So crowdfunding um, uh, started um, online. So it was a group of people saying, my community is quite small, but there's a global community or there's a bigger community. How can I get to them? And the easiest way is to, of course, use technology and to say we all have cell phones, we all have, um, uh, we have technology in our lives. So if we um, can bring people together across boundaries through the use of technology, we can actually do quite big things. So crowdfunding is taking group fundraising or group a pooling of money, and um, by doing that through through the internet um, or through you know WhatsApp or through um, a, a group messaging system, um, it's just making that uh, online so that you can reach larger number of people and not just your direct community. So it's about scalability of raising funds. So now, for the South African context of uh, SMMEs, is there accessibility to them to tap into some of this crowdfunding to further their businesses? Absolutely. So crowdfunding is becoming more and more popular in South Africa. And there's a, a group of different types of crowdfunding uh, platforms available. Um, probably the most successful one, um, uh, and some of your listeners might know, is a, is a, a platform called Backer Buddy. So Backer Buddy, like the word say, was um, started to help people specifically with social welfare, health issues or education and saying um, we can pay someone's medical bills or uh, maybe help someone go to school or maybe help a, you know, a, someone with cancer or a charity raise funding if they don't have that funding. But then that has kind of grown now. Um, so there's other platforms that's looking at helping small businesses and raise capital. Um, and then we have um, where I'm involved, Phoenix, and Phoenix specializes in raising funding for for, for tertiary education, for making sure young people can afford the cost of education. So there's, there's, it's slowly picking up in popularity. Um, so it's very, very exciting. It's definitely a new way of fundraising for South Africans. Now, uh, Lani, you know, the other thing that I think uh, South Africans are a bit wary of, if we come together and we want to start a crowdfund um, um, a vehicle to help other small businesses, what sort of things do we need to look at in order, as the, as the funders, in order for us not to find ourselves investing into businesses or ventures that are not going to yield any results? Well, I think, I think what makes crowdfunding an interesting funding mechanism for SME is the transparency of it, right? So there is a lot of funding out there, um, but usually with, with um, there's different types of crowdfunding. So we have the rewards-based crowdfunding, um, which is if you support my project, I'll give you something in return. Um, so let's say you support a musician record an album. We've seen some local, local artists do that. And then you might get access to the music for free. Or there's um, a donation base, which is what Phoenix does. It's saying, um, I want to donate to a charity. I want to donate to a person. Um, I want to donate to someone's medical bills. And then there is equity crowdfunding. And that is, um, which I'm sure is very interesting for your listeners, that is saying, um, I don't have 
uh, as a small business. So let's use another example. There's a company called Vista. Um, they're a brewery in Cape Town, and they wanted to. They didn't have money. They wanted to scale, so they joined an equity crowdfunding in South Africa and got different people to give them money in exchange for shares. So it's a good way to to raise funding in a non-traditional way. The nice thing about crowdfunding technology is the transparency. So coming back to your question, how do we make sure that this is you know not going to fail? Because you as a crowd, if you want to be onloaded or onboarded as a crowd, a small business on a crowdfunding platform, you get the support of the business, um, of the platform, and then they make sure that you meet your targets. And you as the person investing in the small business, you have access to information, you get, um, sent information on the company, and um, it's a very transparent process because of the technology part. So it all happens online, it all happens out, out there. Um, and making it more transparent so that you can track the success of the business. Now, it, it sounds exciting and it sounds like it's something that we should be looking at because traditional uh, investors are, are really finding times tough. And if we come together almost like a little stock fell to assist yeah. each other, then we are definitely going to create a better small economies, um, but very strong ones. Are there any contact details where we can get hold of uh, you uh, if we need to ask more questions? Um, yeah, so um, Phoenix, um, which I'm involved with, is specifically for students, um, and people can go to to phoenix.org. There's a website, so it's www.phoenix. Phoenix is spelled F E N I X, so it's not like the bird Phoenix, it's like mixfees.org. Um, to go check out if you're a student and you need funding, you can go to Back at Buddy's website if you have um, um, some sort of charity that you wish to get support for. And then Upwise Africa is another one you can check out if you're a small business and you want to get into or at least explore equity.